Yo, Aurora, thank you for the 23 months. A month away, by the way, from uh, two years. Excuse? Ex fucking excuse me? Thank you. Can we get some hearts, please? Hope you had a good move and also great Christmas in the chaos. I haven't been so stressed out in my life. someone tried to hit me, but they they hit someone else instead. Okay, we're on our way. Um, I was stressed. It was the most stressful move. I think it should be. I, I don't want to. I, I can't say illegal, but it 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 should be illegal to kick somebody out around Christmas time. That shit is actually criminal you want to talk about a miserable experience try calling your mom and saying hey don't know if i'm gonna if i'm gonna make it for christmas dinner i have a deadline to move all my furniture out and all and and, and all my shit out by the end of fucking december like i don't know Maybe that's a me thing. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I would move at any other time and be a lot happier. I think the issue I'm dealing with is that, um, I moved in the middle of Onyx and Opixel, which was big. Which, by the way, I want to make note, make clear to everybody, I will be going back to Onyx at some point. Onyx is not gone forever. Onyx is still there. Okay. Haven't disappeared. I was having a hard time playing both servers and building two characters with how little amount of time that I've had recently to uh, role play. So forgive me, but. 133 10 MRPD gonna roid out the storm. Yeah. 125 same traffic gonna refuel and park up Management wasn't lowering the price. They tripled my rent. He uh, not not here. I'm sorry. They tripled my rent at my old place. Now, I'm still paying a higher price. Uh, but I am no longer paying for um. I'm no longer paying for a place that's shitty. You know what I mean? Like, if the price they were offering was stupid for the area. Uh, but. I will admit, I think, uh, I think my time within, uh, say that about Red Dead RP2. Red Dead RP is slow and I'd rather do that on my own time. Onyx is something I, I do actually want to, want to, you know. I still have to make my, my cop on Onyx. Is this done yet? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um Yeah, no. I, I I have to make my cop over there still. I just haven't had a ch I had a chance with the move and everything in the holidays and obviously helping out with skeleton crew stuff. I wanted to make sure that I was at least aware and present for skeleton crew cuz I I did offer to help out. So, you know, it's Okay. I guess we'll chill here for a couple minutes while we wait. Um, there's been some upgrades to the servers. Oh yeah, yeah. No, Moist. There's there's a lot of new stuff with uh with RP, and we just had a big revamp for 4.0, and I I've been helping out with uh kind of starting up the PD a little bit uh, on No Pixel, which is very exciting. So there's a lot of new stuff that I'm learning still, and a lot of new stuff that a lot of people are, are learning. But I, I I think it's good. It's fun. I'm enjoying it.
Uh, do you like the new PD or the old PD MLO better? Uh, forgive me. Sorry if I'm asking a silly question. What is... What is an, M an MLO? Um, if, if I'm understanding your question correctly, do I like this PD or the way we had it before? I think the way the PD was at the end was not good. I think the end of 3.0, it was not great. Uh, I don't think it was bad. I don't think anyone did anything wrong. I just don't think we had a strong PD. Um, we had good people. I just don't think we had a backbone for where the server's direction ended up. Basically an interior for a building. Oh, uh, well, if you're talking about the interior for this building, <laughs> let me tell you, it's pretty fucking sick. I, uh, I actually really like it. Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. Where are the doors to get up? Is it over here? Here it is. Okay. Um, I think 4.0 starting with people who I think genuinely are within the interest of playing, you know, a character that uh, I think are people who are really looking to shape the PD, I think, in the mentality that I wish the PD ended off in with 3.0. So instead of it ending off on a high note, we're starting off on a high note, and I'm hoping that that high note carries through. Because if anyone remembers beginning of 3.0, we didn't have a backbone for PD. And I'm not saying that PD started bad in 3.0. What I'm saying though is we didn't have a skeleton crew. And what happened was we had to crunch fucking time to try and get people to kind of take over those roles. So it started off more as a genuine process, but what happened was it was like a fucking panic set to like get the PD kicked off, which wasn't bad. It's just, it was stressful for everybody. So to see the direction of, you know, improving from our mistakes and Hey, maybe instead of doing it like this, let's do it this way. We're starting off with a backbone that I think was preemptively put, uh, to lead the interest of the role player. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly excited for flop off duty time, but at the moment with the lack of PD units at the moment, the focus of building the PD from like basically run up, expect a way to, yeah, I do feel bad. I feel like I'm missing out on really grand opportunities for character development, but it's okay. I'm not, I'm not upset about it. Uh, I just need, I, I, I would hope that everybody understands that the off duty time will come. But I did sort of take the obligation to help out with the PD and I want to be here until at least the PD's in a little bit more of a comforting spot uh, before I take units away. I mean, shit, right now we have, I mean, one, two, three, four of us on duty right now. And I'll be honest, I don't expect it to get any better tomorrow or at, after the storm, but uh, yeah. Um, that dark yet? No, Flop hasn't seen dark yet. Flop just found out that Dark is, uh, is, I think back, I think it's what editor Flop. I don't, I don't recall. I, I, I know Sock is back. I just don't know if Flop knows that Dark is back in town. I, I think editor It was zero at some points. Yeah. They're doing it slow though. And I think what's good about the PD being a slow transition is really good. Um, the transition for PD is that we're not, so what happened in 3.0 was we did mass hirings and what happened was people were hired at an exponential rate and we couldn't train everybody. And I say we, I know I didn't do the training, but the PD didn't have enough FTOs to sustain the amount of people that were coming through, right? Which is a problem. How do you negate that? You have a slower hiring process, give people the time that they deserve and, 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 and the, the, the time for people to actually flaunt and flourish. So for 4.0, I think the fact that we have a good core group of people who I think a lot of them are really good FDOs, um, I think is going to be a great thing. To be honest, I think I'd, I'd like to go for command. If, uh, if they're looking for heads to do that, I wouldn't mind getting back into the position of doing command stuff. 
command stuff is a lot but I definitely think with the way that the server is right now, I think uh, having some more high command would be really good. I hope the PD hires Loki again. I hope they do too. But I know that's going to be really hard. Loki is such a fun, fun cop. It's a good character dynamic for Flop and Ziggy too. Like many times they've met up. has been so, uh, so fun, but Flop was on the more serious job focus side. And it just gave them a fun dynamic. I mean, Lisa, my, my, my goal with flop, I want there to be more conflict. I want more conflict. Conflict is what, I mean, listen, uh, fr from the viewer perspective, conflict is what you guys would want to see. And from the role player side, conflict is what I enjoy. Conflict RP is what makes RP so interesting because it leads to an unknown and it's fun to toy around conflict. So I think, uh, I think just off that alone, we, we kind of live in a time where, um, where conflict is, is something that I want to go for. I mean, obviously we know Ziggy is probably going to go toward crime and, uh, is probably going to go toward other stuff. I'm not, I'm, I'm sort of just, you know, it, it's to be expected at this point. I'm not, I'm not, it's not out of the realm of probability and possibility. That Ziggy's most likely not going to uh, double back on the PD anymore. I know that's out of character, not in character. And obviously, Flop's going to have his his ways, but I'm not thinking about it until we're in the moment. So, conflict like that's going to be big. And I'll say this much. Uh, I think people's assumption about how Flop would react to finding out about stuff is going to be very shocking. I sort of have a mindset as to where I see the character going and I want to do everything in my power to try and focus on that side of things is to just focus on the character and the core development of him. So. There's definitely a lot of changes for uh, for flop in uh 4.0. I envy your clean desktop. This is a brand new computer. I would love to take credit, but this is a brand new computer. I've also really enjoyed the reintrodu reintroduction of flop and investigation in, in interrogation RP. It's so good. I feel like flop is going to lean a lot more toward the direction of like where dark is right now or where dark was. I, I feel like flops transition into being more dark literally um, and being a little bit more sinister and just blunt with things I think is a good direction. So flop went from being blunt with people in a silly way where like he didn't have a lot of situational awareness to having more situational awareness, but still not knowing the right times to say things. Now flop still doesn't know the right times to say things. He just says whatever the fuck he wants. Detective work? I wouldn't mind bringing Flop back into being a, 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 a detective. Come on, baby. We on that fiber now. We on that fiber. Give me that number one slot. We got fiber and we have an SSD. Give us that number one slot. While, while this waits, um, how good is the 4090 in for rendering video? You know what? I have not rendered a video before. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I can tell you that the graphics card weighs legitimately like two pounds in your hand or three pounds. It's insane. Uh, let me really quickly go grab. Uh, I don't have any coffee. I have tea though. I'm going to go make tea. Give me a second.
All right. I uh, just thought maybe a detective work uh, to bring conflict of gangs against flop. We'll see regardless. You know what's funny? I attempted to create conflict with the Vagos in 3.0. Oh my fucking God, it's snowing. Um, I attempted to create conflict in 3.0 with the Vagos and it turned out that flop, we uh, a completely like polar opposite direction. Um, Flop became like kind of the good guy in the end, which I can't figure out why. What number do we get? Fuck. Fuck. Damn, this is pretty. But yeah, um, somehow Flop ended up being like just the good guy for it. Like he did bad shit and people from the Vagras didn't like him. I feel bad about the Vagras investigation. We never got much further than where we were. I, uh, I struggled to get over the hurdle. And surprisingly, you all remember the 60 days that we had in the Vagras investigation. That shit was the longest span of... Like, we did daily, like, 15-hour streams during the Vagus investigation. No bullshit. It was a, a, an everyday ordeal. What is this? Oh, I, I saw this. I saw this. I would like to order a heartbreaker with cream. Nah, I'm some french fries, but... Oh, hey, I, I would like to order a heartbreaker with cream. Uh, heartbreaker? Extra, yeah, heartbreaker with cream, extra God, cheese, no burger lettuce. Shop. So sprunk if you can't. Oh, shit. I guess I'm not cool enough to post links. I got to get you VIP. I'll work out it, brother. I promise. I promise. I promise. I don't think I have any slots open right now. Let me see. I'll have to tally you into my uh, my notebook for my assistant to assist with, okay? We have a, an availability at 6 o'clock tomorrow, okay? Put slide. Fuck. Dude, it's so pretty. Uh, they should keep the snow year round. I, I love the snow. What up, McNulty? How, How you doing, brother? Pretty good. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. How you been? Yeah, not too bad. You know, Crimbo's. Crimbo's uh, gone now, so. Is he dead? No, no, no. He's still knocking a bit, but he's done his job. Oh. We can also wear scarves and uh, gloves until. Uh, and hats, if you'd like, while uh, it's cold weather's here. I've never been a scarf person. I, oh, like I said, I don't wear hats because they're coarse, but I like a scarf. Hats are cursed? Yeah, everyone in my family's died while wearing a hat, so I don't wear them. That's fair. Bless your heart. Yeah, only logic would dictate that people in my family, if they wear a hat, they die, so. You better. You better hope. Yeah, <laughs> hats I know don't become part of the uniform. Are you, I know. I, Slacks was like, uh, oh, what if, uh, what if I have to put you in a formal uniform with a hat? And I said, well, guess I'm getting striked. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Wait, did you hit him with the, then dap me up, Cap? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like whoever Wait, called it that. Are we good for gloves now? Yes. Well, okay. no, th no. This is, these are just woolly gloves while it's cold out. Okay. 
So Got just it. basically dress for warm weather. Hey, random question. Am I am I just gaining weight or sometimes it, are, are there holes in my shirt? Oh, you're you're lovely. You look snug. You're right. Hold on. A fishing, okay? We get it. You're fit. No. Uh, oh, oh, what? oh. Well, I mean, it was like right under my collar. Did you? Hold on. Hmm. Oh. oh. Uh, I think. Are you? Dad, you're you're, you're getting big. I I I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, that. you're getting a bit big. Is it just me though? Yes. Let's find out. Because I also thought I was getting big. Hmm. Let's go ahead and lean like this. Yeah, no, it's, uh, Ugh. you know. Just give it a moment. When you stretch I'm a certain way, we'll see. Well, I think it's just you. <laughs> oh. Look, I like to know, you know, there's no calories during Christmas, but, oh, you know. Um, did you say there's no calories during Christmas? Yeah. When I went 10-7, okay, I went to go pick up coffee. All right. Well, not just I, I, a macchiato with a triple shot of espresso. Okay. Yeah. Gross. Oh, gross. Okay. Okay. Oh, you think that's gross? Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse. All right. My husband got me this little, you know, this little bag with a bunch of goodies in it. Right. And there was this container, a clear container with I three chocolate. It, it was just three chocolate balls. I appreciate okay? you. Can we get some hearts in chat, please? I, I don't know why you want to laugh at that, but I wasn't. I was sucking my lip. Uh, okay. So I look at them and then I realize Thanks for making my mornings better. Thanks for being here. You're amazing. I should not eat these because they say hot chocolate balls. As in you're supposed to pour hot milk on it. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> I okay, want... so thankfully I did not bite into it. But I here's, have bit into one of those before. <laughs> okay, you know what? I almost did. I almost did. So yeah, you bet your ass I dropped that shit in the macchiato, and I'm gonna be real. It is real good. I Okay, so Sucks being a diabetic, though. My blood sugar is going to be through the roof. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I got one of those hot chocolate balls, but it was just, it was wrapped in just the foil. So I didn't really know, like, what it was. I've had, I've had one of those, but it was like, it was like on a lollipop stick, right? So you would get the hot water. Oh, and you would dip and it in. Like, and it would... You'd dip it in and, and, and like, store it would in. It come apart at the stick yes. first? Yes. <laughs> that makes sense. I bit into one of those, and you ever see the cinnamon challenge? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the funniest, <laughs> Let me tell the funniest thing on planet Earth, yes. I, I gave myself the cinnamon challenge with hot chocolate mix, and it was not good. <laughs> there's, a, there's a video buried somewhere, somewhere on YouTube, somewhere out there of an old, old booty of mine back from uh, school doing that, and it touches the back of his throat, and he just vomits. Yeah, it literally just, it coats your throat. Yeah. The moment it's, it's you... also toxic. The moment you you breathe yeah. in, your entire coat is or co throat is coated. <laughs> um, and, oh my gosh! But there is I, a method it, to it, it. It was it was the it was the sheer volume and speed of vomiting that really oh, catches you <laughs> off guard. You mean I they was expecting the... him to gag? But when <laughs> no, I tell you, no. it was instantaneous. He was gone. <laughs> you ever see like an animated dragon like breathe out like? fire yeah. but like yes yeah, yeah. it's it's like that they put the spoon in their mouth they don't even realize they breathe in it gets sucked in they cough and you just fucking see like <laughs> a cloud of sin it, I, it's the cloud that makes it funny as well yes, yeah i know <laughs> okay in that like animated dragon example i gave assume like a baby dragon that can't exactly shoot flames it's just like it's just <laughs> smoke <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, God. You're not wrong. Uh, oh no! I'm so glad I was never dumb enough to do that. Yeah. No, I was. I was like, oh, no, don't be a pussy. I'm like, I'm not. Well, you can try peer pressure me all you want. I'm not doing that. And then there was that stupid milk challenge where I was like, yeah, drink two liters of milk and one oh, standing. Oh yeah. I'm that's like, a that's good not idea. a challenge. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, that's just. Oh, dumb. what's gonna happen? I'm gonna throw up. Oh, lo and behold, what happened when you drank two liters of milk straight? You, you throw, throw up. up. While... It's amazing. Why does milk make you throw up after having? It's well, just hold on. Are, are, is it the are fat they just content? Downing? Are they just yeah, downing no, it? Yeah, I know. I mean, like chugging two liters oh, of milk. Oh hell no! <laughs> I don't mean like hell having no. a couple of glasses. You'd probably be okay. Your tummy would be a bit upset, but 
I had a buddy of mine, uh, back when, uh... You got a lot of buddies that do some dumb shit. Couple of jobs prior. Um, I did. I have a lot of buddies who do some dumb shit. He, uh, a pound of butter, right? So a stick of butter, the, the thick ones, right? Why? He was like, I, I mean, but the problem is, it wasn't so much a problem he ate it, it was the price he ate it for, which is just 50 bucks. <laughs> oh my nah, gosh. Listen, I'll do that. You, <laughs> I'll do it for like five hundred to a thousand dollars. You think that's bad? Okay. You have you ever met Reed? Reed Dankleaf? I remember oh. that asshole. Okay. So, um, Reed always tells this story about how when he was in high school, uh, he left, I think, milk in his locker over the summer. No. And I think it was either for ten or twenty bucks when he returned. He was paid 10 or 20 bucks to, to try whatever the fuck it turned into over the summer. <laughs> it's just fucking Why? read things. There's a In reason God's I call name. him a fucking cockroach, okay? He cannot die. He's not capable of dying. He, he has done... Ugh. Reed is so dumb. By the way, I'm looking at this thing about dangerous games your kids need to avoid. Oh Number one is the cinnamon challenge. Number two is the gallon challenge. Um, which How is, is the, Tide Pod Challenge the not thing. number one? What the fuck? Uh, that's actually not even here. What? The third one is... <laughs> <laughs> what the, the fuck? The third one is uh, Chubby Bunny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, that was the marshmallow that the one with the Hoover. It, no, no, that was the marshmallow one where every time you put a like one of those big marshmallows in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. Um, I guess but choking? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, the next one is the ice and salt challenge. I don't know what that is. So, you see the, you see the video of that kid down in a bottle of tonic water and then headbutting that garbage drawer? <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Hold on. I need... I need this. Oh, the ice and... Okay, I get what the ice and salt challenge is. I know salt makes ice, uh... I don't know if it's colder or I, 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 but what do you do with it? It says this involves wetting an area of the skin, covering it with table salt and applying pressure with an ice cube. Oh, Usually yeah. Usually water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but adding salt causes the freezing point to drop to as low as zero degrees Fahrenheit. When kids put ice to a salt covered moist area of the skin, they'll experience extreme pain. And depending on how long the ice stays on, uh, uh, could have blistering. Uh, and first or second degree burns or even frostbite. So you're just a, a dumbass. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. And there's water chugging. I don't know what this... There you go. I emailed the parent. Oh, thank God. Hmm. I'm going to... Chugging water might sound harmless, but your <laughs> but hyperhydration can be might have a... It can. Two years ago, a woman was competing in a contest sponsored by a radio station. She was challenged to drink as much water as she could her man might have a star using the bathroom for as long as possible. She died from what doctors called water poisoning. Uh, drinking too much water dilutes the sodium in the bloodstream, uh, which uh, can cause an or a fluid imbalance in the cells. People who participate in water chugging challenges will only experience nausea and headaches. The hyperhydration can also lead to brain swelling, respiratory arrest, coma, and death. Ugh. Damn. Hey, McNulty, this uh, video, should I watch this on my phone or on my own time? Uh, no, that you can watch that. You can watch that on your phone. That's fine. It's safe. Star Wars Lego set Death Star. You won't be under a high command review. But can you chug sparkling water and not burp? You... I'm, huh? I'm done with the. I'm done with the talk. I'm done with it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, what do I do? Yeah, I, I had a midlife <laughs> Let me let me show you something. Oh I'll, my I'll god! You, this is the I'll best video context. I've ever seen. <laughs> Hold on. Actually, no, I'm not sending it to you. <laughs> what? What, no, what are I you can't. sending? I can't because the title of the video is stupid and has no bearing on the actual video, but it, it makes me look bad. <laughs> the, TL, the, TLDR, I mean, I... the TLDR is, it's a, you know, probably middle-aged man talking about how he went to the, uh, the Volvo dealership. Um, and he was talking with the service advisor and, uh, talking about how he's kind of implying that he is young. Okay. To be clear. I mean, he's kind of implying, you know, a lot more younger people are driving Volvos. Um, 
and the service advisor was kind of like, huh? And then it dawned on the dude <laughs> that younger people aren't buying Volvos. He's just aged to Volvo age. Oh, now, the no. reason that's important is because I I have a Volvo back in my hometown. A Volvo? Volvo. Uh, vo oh. vo Volvo. <laughs> Very yeah. different. Yeah. Um, well, listen, so I think they're nice cars. I, Listen, they're, I'm a I'm a cars. sucker for, I'm a sucker for aesthetics, and I think they look great. I think they're underrated. Well, what were yeah. the Volvos, uh, the XC90s or whatever the hell they were? Those things used to last forever, actually uh, forever. Rhodes, you look like you drive a Fiat Panda. No. <laughs> what the fuck? No. I don't I don't I don't think I have a very strong opinion on Volvos. I don't think I've ever really looked at a Volvo enough to form an opinion. Um, look at like a newer model S60. I think they look very sharp. Eh. Damn, they look good. Hold up. Yo, people are sleeping on... I'm telling you, people are sleeping on them, okay? Uh no no not no. what what what's not your ideal? ideal what's your ideal this you is know, the like, first what? modern car that wasn't like, like ruined like with a big ass uh, chrome in the front okay fair enough I'm not big on muscle cars like you know if I think I think if you drive a Mustang at the first opportunity at a mall you're plowing into a group of people <laughs> this is it's true. true what no what? no no this yes, is true because everybody that drives drive a muscle, muscle car is like that hey, listen, look at my no american bushel you, of rev engine they, into wall they like to show off okay and well, they see where are you like i have to floor it right now it doesn't matter that it's 20 degrees fahrenheit and it it rained last night i don't care that i might not have traction muscle's There's not big where right i'm there. from though it's really not a fucking <laughs> thing you know, really? you know what is, you know what is fucking big where I'm from is Sky, Nissan Skylines and fucking Honda Civic Type R's. Re oh, uh, dude. like newer I, or older? Older. Okay. Even, even regarding the Civics. I fucking hate Honda Civics. I fucking hate them. The Are Type R. <laughs> I think they're disgusting. Looks yeah, like a fucking I, I little beetle you. scurrying around the roads. <laughs> I think Civics got a bad name. I think they're not. That and I don't bad, mean a beetle but... like the car. I mean the literal insect. Are you? <laughs> I'm gonna send you a photo. Um, because I feel like this would be generally the type that you're referring to, and I could be wrong here, okay? But, like, based on how you're describing it, this is the vibe I'm getting. Hold on. Dude. I gotta admit, for a sedan? Like, that's a clean-looking car. Right here. In white? Like, I think that's an aesthetically pleasing it? car. Is that what you're seeing? Yes. A hundred percent. I knew it had to have been. What are you hatch. seeing? It's this fucking well hate Oh god, I don't I don't know if I wanna see. I'm scared. Yeah. You know what's worse than just that? A group of them at a meetup. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. All talking about Honda. None of them can get over the damn speed bumps because they all meet in a fucking the car lock. Uh, I had a well. Here's the, the car <laughs> locks on the they fucking. They all book. go to a shopping plaza with their speed bumps because there's intended to be a lot of people, but they do this like eleven o'clock at night, so no one's there, right? The only people showing up outside of them are the cops. And here's here's what the dumbasses do: they have to do like a forty-five degree turn in one direction to get one tire over the speed bump while still scraping. Then they have to turn their car get the other wheel on it then when both wheels are and off the thing is there's no cool way to do that there's there no isn't, you just there isn't, you no. just have to you watch drive, as they struggle it's so you could dumb. drive a lamborghini and you still look like a fool going over a speed bump yo i'm just saying listen i maybe i can understand this to a degree because you now people say oh you shouldn't listen to music you know loud you're you're gonna get uh <laughs> tinnitus or whatever the fuck that shit's called like the ringing listen yep. i blast my music okay Same. i do i i if if I'm in my car, all right, here's what happens. I get in the car, I put my music on, my seatbelt goes on, then I leave. But it's at max volume. And I, I you know, Oi. I wait until I'm out I'm of the neighborhood. Of... I'm not a dick. I'm the same in the car and my apartment. Um. I fucking blast that shit in the mornings. 
Only in the mornings, though. So sometimes, so sometimes I listen to real bassy music, and I try to have some consideration for my neighbors. <laughs> So I, I I limit it to the car. The car is consideration like my, is for the Oscars. Place. Well, um, what was I gonna? Oh, all of those Civics. I don't know if y'all ever seen them. Okay, but I love this conversation. When Sorry. they're driving down the road, it could be the tiniest dip in the road. You see every fucking that bump sky, following them. Skyrockets yeah. about five meters in the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand. Their fucking spines must be destroyed. I think it's just a those tiny frames, car with dog shit suspension. Yeah, well, those they, things are insane. They make the suspension stiff. I don't get it. You you um, know a road's bumpy with the, when those things are driving because they they look like they get on two wheels. There's no play in I that suspension. I don't think the the caps are coming. By the way, I don't oh. think so. Okay, I'll leave the meeting. Okay. I don't think there's any meeting to okay. leave. Uh, why why Volvo's is. the best car company? Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> uh, I'm a firm believer in, you know, you do you. Uh, number one, do your job. Number two, yep. uh, make sure that y'all are looking at the dashboard under announcements and reading the notifications. Make sure your paperwork is read, up to date. Read before going on duty. This has been read by zero people i don't know why the, it says that because i read it see the <laughs> thing is I read, it, I read it too the thing is i have read it but i'm not taking it uh till my paperwork's up to date then i'll take it oh that's smart that's smart oh. that way my that way my brain will be constantly reminded you know to be fair it does indicate read before going on duty but don't complete before going on duty yep boom yeah, you a real one you're a real one uh i'm gonna say can people keep an eye out for sonia summers i might be growing a potential human trafficking case against her Right, what it turned into? That's fine. Did did Norman give a description no. of her? No. Uh, yes, she matched. This, I literally saw her forty minutes later when uh, I found her. So Next time again, TLDR, I appreciate you. You take care. Um, she apparently held. Now tell me if this starts to sound like human trafficking to you, okay? She was up north, uh, holding someone hostage, and found Winsong and helped grab took her hostage. Then forced them at knife point to plant weed to, again, at knife point, then slaughter animals to use them to fertilize the weed. And then force them at knife point to take a shit on the uh, weed to fertilize it. Any that that sound like human trafficking to you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it does. You know what's crazy? Sonia called me over and was like, who's that cop? I was like, oh, it's Rhodes. She's like, oh, my God. She's like, you're still a cop? I was like, yeah. She's like, well, why don't you do what, you know, what I'm doing? I was like, huh? Were you like, you still she, a she, crazy bird? She's, she's like, yeah, you know, totally legal things. I was like, okay, Sonia. Well, that, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Problem, problem is I only have statements. At, but I, felt I was brought to the weed that was, it was one weed plant. But all I have is statements, so I... I got Dude, the nothing. pollster. So I'm going to stake out. I'm sorry. I was uh, going to stake the weed plant out. How do you pronounce it? Is it pollster or the Because the I feel like I can I, I don't know how grow to on top of that it. if I know this thing it actually comes back. It looks to like a fucking on the weed that was what the apparently fuck? forced to grow. Uh, instead, I responded to a 38. This thing is hot. The disease. What the fuck? Because I wanted to make sure he had backup in Polito. Backup in Polito? Yeah. During okay. that time. What the? Whoa. A 911 came from the spot saying a woman. Was passed out by a barnyard. Is, is that wind song? No, it was fucking it's, Sonya it's on scene pretty. of where that Sorry. weed was, knocked out unconscious with a oh. trauma oh. to the head. Interesting. I, okay. I treated her like a victim in that, just to you know, grab her uh, ID, prove saying. that she was there. That why you said you suspected you know you knew who it was. Yes, because the the ah. the description I'm from Adams was the exact same as what she was I'm wearing and description. And I asked, did she have an Australian accent? And they went, yes. Wait, 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 hang on. I don't want to cut you off. Uh, <sighs> ma'am, I don't Damn. think we've met, ma'am. Oh, Damn. yeah. Um, it's me, Chastity Marie. I'm the receptionist. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. That's not, that's not a complete stranger, by the way. Just okay, listening okay. on the meeting. I was just double checking. Yeah. You can come closer, by the way. Yeah, I don't want to show. Out. Okay. I hey, just want to impose. You say that, but sometimes, listen, I wake up, I roll down to PD, and the doors are locked open. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Y'all have seen that before? 
That is the second best uh, Lexus. Yeah. yeah, but I'll keep an eye you out. Locking the it. doors behind yeah, us. I, I, oh, I, you're talking about the car is no my dream car. Oh. The 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 doors in Mission Row and the the garage doors outside. I don't a know. There's something. There's definitely V8. something wrong. I'm not sure if y'all are aware, but if you lock the door while it's open, it will not swing shut. Yeah, yeah yep. I noticed no, that. No. Mm -hmm. Just be mindful. Those of that. hinges are are tight mm -hmm. when happen. you lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm just building the case at the moment. But I don't I don't have a whole lot to go with. Can yeah, I, I even if Wind even song? if even uh, if I prove her earlier, right? McNulty? Yeah, she was apparently kidnapped, and uh, when we found her at um, the Winewood Bowl, mm -hmm. she was. Uh, I very oh, much think the reason Sonya I'm looking at the LC500 is because the LFA is way out of my uh, fucking budget. Killer due to what she witnessed. It was the LC500. So when when still. did the wind song portion happen? I asked because Which I part? did go. Chat dream uh, car. Part, the the wee part. I want to know yeah. everyone's dream car. Yesterday. Okay. I was gonna say I saw Windsong walking into the hospital today, uh, yeah. and I just wanted to make sure that I wouldn't be able to like, you know, confirm that I saw Windsong going there for some specific reason. Yeah, all I'm saying is today. if you see Windsong, um, nine one one ing about being attacked, please, for the love of God, respond to that. I know you probably okay. would anyway, but if Sonya is actively, you know, hunting her in regards to this, then I feel like I can start growing a bit more on this. But I gotta go stake that weed out for a bit and see if she actually returns the scene. But part of me, part of me is like, if I get witness her going towards that weed, my part of me is like, should I just record it and Keep let her drive away? Say, yeah. Or do I pounce down there? Because if I go down there and arrest her, I can only get her for cultivation. Mm -hmm. If there's I still don't have enough. I, if there's something I remember about her, it's that she will not go down without a fight. So if, if your idea is, is to science? pounce... Yeah, trust mm -hmm. me when I say you're gonna want backup. Okay. McDonald, um, you you already know my offer on backup for the weed shit. Yeah, I had Duncan's backup, but that fucker only lasted twenty minutes before fucking off. Yeah. And then I lost my guy. You lost your guy. Why'd you say it like that? That <laughs> <laughs> that my was, guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever run into him, but for whatever reason, you almost sounded like Tony Corleone. <laughs> Did I? Whoa! <laughs> like you wait, just said that. I don't know. Say "lost my guy" like you did before. I I don't know how I just said it. I feel <laughs> like I just said it with my accent. Lost my guy. No, it was no, how you said it, it was, in that yeah. moment. It was <laughs> like <laughs> leathery. It was it was disgruntled. That's because I was both of those things. Yeah. Uh, I, but that's I, all I I've got. Um, I got the warrant out for a Bobby Brown. Nice. Was it proved yeah. by a captain? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, for the situation that took place down at uh, the hospital. Or senior buns the other day. Oh, my God. That was a headache and a half. We had about six people in custody. A bunch of more people kept coming in. They started fighting with the people in custody. And then one person stabbed somebody while we had people. It was a long story. Yeah. I ended up taking him down to the hospital and everything. And I got robbed, man. Two motherfuckers came up, held me up, and freed him from our custody. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Apparently, a whole bunch of people were detained at Senior Buns yesterday or on mm -hmm. Christmas Day, and PD weren't paying attention and they were robbed. It's, I wouldn't say we weren't paying attention. Were they uh, say understaffed? There was about, million yeah, people? there was three of us on duty, <laughs> and there was about fifty people at Senior Buns. Yeah, sounds about right. We you know, we could make it. I swear. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned that because I went to Senior Buns today, and I think. Uh, it may have been Damien. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone approached me and was like, oh, no, it wasn't Damien. Someone working at Senior Buns was like, were you here for the situation yesterday? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, I was like, no, I wasn't on duty yesterday. He's like, well, surely you must have heard what happened at Senior Buns yesterday. And I was like, dog, I've been on duty for half an hour. I'm just trying to get something to eat. I don't know what happened yesterday. I wasn't on duty yesterday. I'll keep it, it was horrible. I'll keep it a buck. I'll keep it a buck with you. Last time I went to Senior Buns to respond to a call, after about the ninth person to interrupt me, I said, you know what? You guys could figure it out. And I got in my car and I drove off. I, I'm, I hate that we have to do it, but I mean, there was the one time I was arresting James Randall in front of the hospital. Uh, actually, I was there for someone else. I was there to take their statement because something had happened to them. Then a doctor screaming, the, the, the guy, the old guy walking away just st stabbed my, my fucking patient, right? Jesus. So I walk out, I have him point him out, I place him, I try to place him in cuffs. Uh, Cornwood starts, you know, tackling this old man. 
In fact, I, I, I swear he just about broke every bone in his body tackling him several oh, times. My wrist is we get him in all the boxes, dude. And I just want oh, a statement from him, right? I, I'm going to arrest him, but I, I need a statement. I could not get 30 seconds of uninterrupted statement from yep. James Randall before I was interrupted mm -hmm. by officer, officer, officer. I need this. I need this. I need this. Mm -hmm. Or someone saying, oh, there's an injured person in that car, blah, blah, blah. And the thing is, yeah, I feel bad if I say, yeah, sorry, I'm busy, right? So I'm like trying to attend to all these different mm -hmm. things. And some dude rolls up, fucking punches me and tells Mr. Randall to run, even though he's cuff. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like maybe, yep. maybe it was an accident, you know? Maybe, maybe he was asking something beforehand. I just didn't hear. No, he fucking swung again. So you bet your ass I beat, I beat him up, had mm -hmm. Maple take him in. As you and should. at that point, I literally just needed backup to deal with the people who were approaching me, not allowing me to do my job. It was that bad. That's what senior bunks was for me. After the fourth or fifth person came up to me, I said, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm on something right now. I'll try and get you a unit. By the ninth well, person, I... That, that's a bad statement to say. Sorry, pal, I can't help you. I'm on something. <laughs> well, I, I, it, it was, I was dealing with someone who was stabbed. So it, it, was, it was like a bomb threat and someone got stabbed. And I'm like, listen, the fact that your car got hit, sorry, bud. I, you, I, I know you're saying you were busy with something, but when you I'm say you're on something, on something yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're on drugs. Well, well, I, think, I didn't I say that I, I think it's important to realize, uh, making people realize that we are understaffed, but also trying our fucking best to just Absolutely. respond to the shit we can. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, definitely. And, and I, I think another important thing is sort of not letting it get to us. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. But I, I think the second one of us or any of us feels like you know, it's too much. Just to remind someone, they can go 42, take an hour, take a couple hours, relax. Because the last thing you want is someone on duty snapping at the civilian population. Yeah. Because definitely. Well, I, oh, look, I can tell someone. I can be like, look, I'm dealing with a fucking someone who's stabbed. Uh, 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 but to them, it's like, oh, oh, you're you're ignoring my problem. Okay, whatever. It's it's yeah, kind of it's, like a double-edged sword. We are here to serve and protect. I know, but the thing, yeah. I've done it. I'm not going to pretend I'm a fucking mm. saint. I've been like, brother, I, I was just, I, someone just tried to stab me and take my fucking life. Your misparked car is the last of my fucking concern. That's I pretty, couldn't care that's less. That's pretty much what I told the guy. <laughs> but it's like, okay, it's like, brother, give me five minutes. I'm dealing with an ongoing situation. I can talk with you then. Most people will, will mm -hmm. you know, understand. You'll have the ones who will be like, oh, whatever, then you cops are just like the rest. And it's like, well. Those are the kind of people, chances are, will never change our mind, but at least we can try. Yeah, 100%. Ugh. We're Definitely. doing the best with the, with the hand dealt oh, to we us. Are. And unfortunately, you know, these people have 50 cards to play and we have five, all right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so they need to acknowledge that we're trying our best, but we, you know, we don't have an all-seeing eye to witness all crime. We don't have enough officers to be able to coincidentally, you know, have witnessed something happening that we weren't present for. Yeah, and so then, it, like, then it's like, the he said, she said. It's like, wait, exactly. why aren't you prosecuting that person? And it's like, I don't think exactly, you understand yeah. how a court of law works. I've had that twice now. This person punched me five minutes ago, and you're going to let them walk? I'm like, listen, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I wasn't here for it. No witnesses were here. If it happens or they approach you, I've told them to walk away from the situation. If they come back, call 911. But Here's I, the thing. <laughs> that in that situation... There is no difference between them informing you at that point in time unless the person has made an active threat and it becomes a matter of like the person's about to like stab them, right? That's different. But there's nothing different if if their sole purpose is to get this documented than going to Mission Row hours later even, because it wouldn't matter at that point, and reporting it to an officer at that time. Because if all they want is their statement documented, right, we can do that at a later time without interrupting what we're actively yep. doing. Yep. Like, that's that's the reality and you know they i think we just need to um to maybe better understand that like they may not realize what we're going through and how short-staffed we are um What's and up, unfortunately Haven? you know given that a lot of a lot of our job is go 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 sometimes we don't even have the time to explain it but if you do see a person who did previously attempt to you know uh, file a police report or something and unfortunately something priority came up the next time you see him, just but, run and, you know, let him know, hey, listen. During an active 80 pursuit today, I drove past someone, two people, holding someone up in a snowstorm at knife point, <laughs> slammed on the brakes, jumped out with a gun and said, back the fuck up, leave him alone. <laughs> they get up in the car and drove away and I said, brother, give me your ID. 
put your name in the yellow pages. I'll grab your statement. I'm in an active 80. <laughs> Jump back in the car and go back in the pursuit. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I will, I will deal with this immediate threat once it's fine. Keep going. 100%. How, how, how do you feel we're sort of doing at the moment, by the way? Good talk. Oh. oh, are you? Wait, who are you talking to? You, darling. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What was the question again? I was just saying how you feel like we're doing at the moment. Um, Honestly, just the based best off way... what you're hearing. Yeah. Ba honestly, the best that you can do based off of the cards you've been dealt. I think uh, in regards to, you know, civilians putting pressure on you when they come to MRPD, that's sort of where I come. Not even sort of. That's my job. Um, uh, so I guess, do you want me to communicate to people that you're understaffed? Is that like a bad thing to communicate? Or do well, I think it's pretty just... clear. Uh, okay. I mean... It's no secret that we are understaffed and going through a slow hiring place to make sure we're not, okay. you know, over hiring. Bringing in, yeah, bringing in people who don't mm -hmm. actually give a fucking shit, who aren't willing to put mm -hmm. in the time. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you know I don't want to be oh, back right. it with like you know, it, it's it's the holiday season. Yeah, just it, yeah, blah, tell blah, them you know, units are tired. Yeah, tell them, tell them mm -hmm. quality over quantity. I can absolutely do that. Yeah, I don't want to accidentally like do a slip and, you know, someone's like trying to think, you know, to pull some slick stuff and they're like, oh, PD's understaffed. Perfect. Time for me to pull the ultimate crime. Like, I don't want to set anyone up that way. Well, you know this'll, what? This will go to jail. You know what? If they What's do the that, ultimate though, crime? It, is, it is what it is. You know? Is, uh, it is what it is. A very is millennial is. approach to that. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's a true statement, though. Yeah, I mean they're shooting themselves in the foot because the reality is they're gonna they're gonna get accustomed to that. And once we do start hiring, and once we do have sufficient numbers to be able to deal with the amount of concurrent crime happening, mm -hmm. they're not gonna be they ain't gonna be ready. Very yeah, at, le at least we can pounce on complacency, I suppose. That's 100%. what I'm doing right now at uh, at traffic stops. I'll tell people I'm like, listen, we're yep, always I'm here. going to go. We're always watching. So no, I'm, take, I'm not gonna go watch that creep up. I'm going to book an ear, uh, and I'm gonna go uh, ticket. Grime drivers. Okay. Me too. All right. We do a little patrol up north. I appreciate all of you. All right. Got wow. you, brother. If you need anything, Nothing, always reach out. I don't out. know if anyone's gotten aggressive up north. Just be careful because yeah. your backup's going to be distance away. No, it's yeah. fine. I, mean, I do have a quick question for whoever. The... Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, um, so I, I no longer, uh, I think they're just making some adjustments on like the tech side. I don't have the ability to create civilian reports or fill out the PD interest list. So is there someone I should check in with at the end of my shift to just pass those notes along? How about this? If you, I'll give you my number. If okay. you text me as they come in um, with what you would be putting. So it would be their name, phone number, uh, or their name, state ID, phone number. Mm -hmm. What's up, Saskia? Uh, How you doing? Good to see you. How was your uh, your holiday, so your, three, your your Christmas? Um, alongside uh, any prior experience and maybe references. Mm. Um, because it's essentially one line for each person, if you just text that to me, I'll throw that in. Um, just on occasion, if you can... Get on radio if radio's dead and just remind me <laughs> to take a look at my text messages. That would be great. I can absolutely do that. Sure. Yeah, I have some leftover notes from yesterday that uh -huh. um, that I still need to pass on. So have that will be easily done. Have you seen the formatting by chance? Um, give me a second. I'm going to give oh, yeah, you... I've been, I've been filling... Okay, so before I lost access, I've been the person who's been filling those out. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're good then. That's the case. Just send them, send them in line by line. Like, don't put multiple in a single text. Nice. And don't worry about spamming my phone if you have several people. Doesn't bother me. Um, and then as they come through, I'll make sure that they're put in there. All right. Excellent. How do you spell your last name? Sorry. Uh, R H O D E S. Oh, perfection. All right. Boop, 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 boop. And I will uh, I'll get all that sorted out. All right, amazing. Thank you so much. And if, I'll do my best. If Flop were to have his legal name, would his last wonderful. name be Flop? Well, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, Dark Roads, do Bugs Dugong. Not, I got something for you. Yeah, time to go get... The, uh, time to go stop crime. crime. I want to... Uh, right, sounds good. I'll go out there. The union workers up uh, The Lumberjack union workers, have you met them or no? Uh, no, I haven't. You should, you should. They got... Uh, they're real nice people, I'm not going to lie. One of them is running for mayor. Uh, I went up there a little earlier today. Real nice people, but they have a little issue, and uh, I thought I'd bring it up with you. 
I got a whole bunch of mountain lions up near them at the lumberjack. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know if you know any shit on how to deter mountain lions, but I let them know. So, I'll I'll I'll, I'll pull out the ranger card, and then I'm going to give you the the reality card. Okay. The ranger card is that they're in their environment. The best thing they can do is to avoid them at all costs. The reality is that we currently don't have any legislation against You're them being protected. protected, right? Yeah. So if they if they shoot them, they can't shoot them. They don't have anything to do. They're lumberjacks. All they got yeah. is axes. The poor kitties, man. Uh, stand high. Get up on high ground and try and get one of us to come out. Try and call nine one one if they can. If if they see okay. them coming, get in, get into a vehicle and drive off until it scurries away. Stuff like that are all good options, yeah. but... Okay. Yeah, I let them know best option is to get the hell away from it if they can. Or if they, if they could go... Because they, they told me the cats like to sneak into their eastern entrance. And it'll wait for them as they're walking around over there. So they, I don't know, maybe the cats are used to eating over there. And now they think they can just go get easy food. I don't know. Yeah, that, don't that, like that's, that's a hard one. I would say mm -hmm. just let them know to try and... Uh, get up on high ground Contact or get into us, yeah. yeah. And if they're really stuck, call us and we'll come up and try and take care mm -hmm. of it. Okay, I'll let them know. All right, awesome, brother. Thank you, thank you, Flop. I got Let's you, go, Aziz. Man. Absolutely. Let's, head on out here. Let's go see what the hell going on today. I don't know. It looks like it's just gonna be the four of us, which is okay. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. make do. It's usually, yeah, it's not that bad to be honest. Nah, it's, it's a not. nice little squad of us. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. No, me neither. We got a good crew. Mm hmm. Hey, what's up, Taz? How you doing? Ask you, I'm so sorry for your loss. I, I do hope uh, I do hope the family's all right, and I do hope that uh, things pick up, pick up and get better. Excuse me. Um, glad that to uh, at least have you here, hanging out. Hopefully, you find a, a a laugh or two while you're chilling. All right, that was a long meeting, but honestly, that was kind of nice. We had a nice long long conversation long fucking con oh my god the car looks so cool yo look cool this looks yo yo i'm driving cocaine on wheels ziggy you don't have to go to the life of crime you can just come and drive cocaine whenever the fuck you want Oh God. I haven't driven in the, in the, the snow yet. Oh, fuck yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this. This is gonna be good. I was just about to put on Tokyo Drift, but I decided to go with something else. Yeah. Hold on. Let me get like a proper. Oh, donut. <laughs> Dude, it actually feels really good. They managed to actually nail how, how snow feels like really well. Dispatch 125, 1041. 